So your bedroom, really most people don't see it. You're entertaining downstairs a lot or in other places in your home. So your bedroom is primarily for you and your significant other. So if you don't want to spend a ton of money, because it's usually the last room that a lot of my clients think of. Usually they're putting a lot more of their money into the dining room, the living room, the kitchen. So a way to kind of oomph up your bedroom without buying anything new is make sure maybe accenting with your sheets. So if you have a set of white sheets, a set of colored sheets, maybe a graphic, why keep it all together. Why do all white, all color, all graphite? Why not have fun with it and mix it all around? So you have maybe a really nice colored sheet on top. Uh, you have throw pillows that are in the graphics and then you have your sleeping sheets as the white when you open up your bedding. It makes it a little bit more fun, a little bit more interesting. Also play with your accessories. Go throughout your house and sometimes you get bored when things are in the same place. So if you have a really cool piece on your coffee table, why not bring it to your nightstand and vice versa? It kind of switches it up and it breathes new life into the room. Uh, your window treatments, why keep them just as window treatments? If you have sheets that you no longer want to use as sheets but you love the pattern, maybe you changed out the size of your bed, tie them up at the top or put a little ring at the top and now they become your new window treatments. Artwork is another way to switch things up. Maybe go throughout your home and see if there's other pieces you can change out to put on your walls or better yet, go into your photo albums to the pictures that you never even pay attention to. Frame those and put those on your bedroom wall. It's a really great way to change out the space and make it feel new and improved. Music